<laughs> I'm flattered, truly, but were it not for Sun Wukong bringing us together, I... Without you, none of this would be possible. Your courage to stand up to the Celestial Host has inspired us to finally take a stand. To make a true difference in the world. And I could think of none other more suitable to lead us on our conquest than you, brother. <sighs> Forgive me, brothers. Hmm. Hand over the scroll, children. You expect me to believe you are not responsible for stealing the scroll despite it being in your possession? <laughs> okay, okay. Let's start again. You must be MK the Monkey Kid and May the White Horse Dragon Girl. <laughs> I've gone by many names. Perhaps the one you are familiar with is... The Azure Lion! Or not, okay. In any case, I am here to help. The item that imprisoned your friends is a fragment of the Scroll of Memory, an ancient artifact stolen from the Underworld. If not by you, then presumably by your master, Sun Wukong. <laughs> Everyone knows the Monkey King. But yes, he was once my sworn brother. Ah, well, that Sun Wukong isn't exactly the easiest person to get along with. He's got quite a habit of keeping people at arm's length. We were young, mistakes were made, and some mistakes can't be undone. The only reason I can imagine Monkey King would have borrowed the scroll is that he's become sentimental in his old age. After all, that scroll contains the memories of his journey to the West. That and a great many other tales, I'm sure. Everything that has ever happened, every deed, every word has been recorded in the scroll of memory. It's a prison, designed to contain wicked souls, forcing them to relive their past misdeeds over and over again for all eternity. In order to contain its prisoners, a powerful protective curse was cast upon the scroll to prevent those in prison from escaping and ensnare any who would seek to free those locked inside, trapping them forever. Left unchecked, that curse would have spread, consuming everything until nothing remained. I thought I arrived in time to contain the curse, but based on your expressions, I would hazard a guess that Sun Wukong has already been consumed, along with your friends. It's too late to save them. We can't risk unleashing the curse into the world. It meant everything to me. <sighs> if your friendship is as strong as you say it is, then perhaps there is a way. But we need to move now. We're brothers. Nothing could ever change that. I'll open the scroll long enough for you to get inside. But finding your friends, that'll be up to you. In order to escape the scroll, you'll need to defeat its protective curse, but it's going to take all your strength combined. Now, hand me the scroll. If we're going to do this, we need to trust each other. Look out for one another. You can do this. <laughs> all right, ready? Good luck. You made it in safely. Great, May. MK, welcome to 7th century Chang'an. I trust you've experienced astral projection before? Uh, a little astral projection never hurt anyone. Listen, I don't have much time. Remember how I told you the scroll has a protective curse? Good. Try not to draw too much attention to yourself. The curse will be drawn to any imperfections it detects within its stories. So for starters, we need to do something about those. You betcha. I found some duds your size over in that trash pile. Finding your friends won't be easy, but... Ow! Oh, at least let me turn around first! If your bonds of friendship are strong as you say, then you will always find your way back to one another.